Money Tonight, bogus text messages warning about accounts getting closed or hacked. CBS 4 Zach Meyer shows us the new things that hackers are trying. Well, the goal of every phishing scam is to look authentic and trick you into think you're dealing with a legitimate company or organization. It can, it can be harder to spot if the crooks are using a name that you're familiar with. The watchdogs at Trend Micro say they're seeing a flurry of fake text messages that seem to be from Apple and Capital One. In one week, the company blocked more than 5,000 fake messages about iCloud storage. One of them says your iCloud service is going to be terminated and you're going to to lose all your photos and files unless you upgrade your service. Another says your iCloud account has been suspended because you've run out of space and you have to upgrade it to reactivate it. I actually got that message a couple weeks ago claiming that I had reached my storage limit even though I have nearly two terabytes of space still open. These messages are simply window dressing meant to trick you into clicking on a link so they can take you to a website designed to record your personal information, like your social security number, login credentials, and credit card numbers. And that's not all. Somebody posing as Capital One has been busy blasting out phishing emails about pending refund notifications. It says, good news, you've received a new credit payment. If you click on the link, though, it takes you to a web page that looks like the Capital One login page, but it's not. And if you log in, you're, you're basically giving them your username and password, which they can quickly use to access your real bank account. Remember, the whole goal of these scams is to get you to click on the link that they send you. So don't do it. If you get one of these messages and you're just not sure if it's real, reach out to the customer service department directly. Trend Micro has more tips on avoiding these scams, and I have them attached to this story at CBS4ND.com. For CBS4 News, I'm Zach Myers.